Afternoon guys, I just thought I'd do a quick wee stream in that just just to chill out basically. And we'll try a bit of sand patch. I've not done it for a little while. Let's see what this scenario offers. Let's see if we can do it without making a pig zero of it essentially. Yeah, I'm good at that one. Let's see how many people wish to join my little streaming. Leave comments or hit likes or sus subscribe if they wish. Choice is yours. Done lots and lots of high speed sort of train journeys, so this is just something a wee bit more slower paced. Let me chill out. Let's see. How See, I mean, this is sort of journey scenario ones we can do. Probably not many because obviously it's going to take a little while because obviously the trains aren't exactly quick. So, let's see what we we're meant to do read the captions, listen to the voice over. Right, so as you see, we've got three locos. You can pick any of them, and we have to do things with them. Go to places and do things, right? So, what we'll do, we'll start off with this one. So, we'll come out of the turntable, Dave. We'll go to that, and then we need to. Keep a BDI. It shows you where you're meant to go, but we need to obviously find a way. I've had a quick brief look at it, what it is. And the quest is basically we have to get to a certain point pretty much on our own accord. By the looks of things. This is our first engine of the day. Yeah, so let's do all the make sure everything's golden. That's the thing about the joystick, it just. Yeah, so that's one. And we'll meet bright. Oh, bright. SD. Alright. It's so difficult to do it. So the glacial light is on, ditch light is on, and we've to head off somewhere. We'll have to generate a field, generate a field even though it does not tell me. Yeah, uh, well, we need that. And all right, so we are to hook it up with this one, this train, that's a Obviously, we can't really use the turntable because it's, it's not big enough to handle the three locals. What we'll do, we'll check where the switch the levers to suit our needs. And that's what we want to do, right? So we'll go in there. Straight on, that's fair enough. Straight on. Because basically we want to head it up that way. So we basically want to get beyond there. Let's go forward first. Let's hopefully we're heading in the right direction. Is it so the one to hook her, hook her up?
Um, that's why I was looking at the directions I want to be going in. We're coming along here. I'm just trying to get this, which is on the right, going the right way. It's going the right way. So like that. So I'll switch that one, then I'll just come out to here. So the train beyond that, that section. We should be able to then do a reverse of the hook, hook up to the whole coal trucks. Well, I should be able to follow that round. Doesn't seem, I don't see any lights, so. We just have to watch, so. A bit of yard work. It's a lot more chilled out, it's sort of easy going compared to the high speed thrills and spills that we were having earlier on. Just moving things where they want us to move, basically. Slow down, slow down, we're going too fast. Apparently. We just love that wee red line. We were meant to go right here. We'll probably have to fire the other engines to get them. Maybe we need to properly. Right, it's a free, it's cutting, cutting out, cutting, cutting out valve. Is that at least we've not got the right set of us, we should. And that's what we want as well. I thought, well, we have going a bit further than we want it to be going, but that's fine. And then we want to head up here, so... That one. So where is this one? Where are we going to split off to this side? Right, off to the right. Make sure there. Make sure that's the right one. to go up beyond this 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 one here. Right, so reverse or reverse.
We just try to remember things as we go along here. I haven't done it for a while. Release that brake. That also will help. <laughs> you never know who has I haven't been on doing as much it's, it's fine it's always nice that you come in though just to say even if it is just to say hello I mean at the moment I'm just like my wee I'm that shattered and this is a, a relatively easy game just to relax with you don't have to do too much. Uh, red lights two and a half miles away. We shouldn't be going as far as that. Oh, it was nice to see folk just come in, even if it is just to say hello. That's all right. I know. I know. Everybody, you go through a phase of what you want to play in that. And I was just playing this as a, it's a cousin, but it's a freight rather than a hydrony. I just do a freight one since I haven't done it for a while. And American ones. Most of them are afraid it wouldn't take it, so this is a bit more chilled out scenario. Right, well, it's certainly not going to as lickety split in, and we won't, we won't be anyway. Just need to get beyond a certain point to come back for the trucks. So I'm using the map for. Most of, a lot of people will get three when it comes out. I think, I think the concept of uh, the variable weather, or changeable weather, will may may life a bit more interesting. Possibly. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, any bugs that they do have, they can get fixed. My fear is when they said they're taking, bringing it out for a PS4 or uh, the old uh, Xbox, there's going to be plenty of glitches, even more so in the, the older consoles. Because it's the sort of thing, and it's like, hmm. We'll see, we'll see how it goes, I think, poor host, we'll see how it goes. The only good thing is that if anything you've bought on TSW2 or even TSW will be valid on uh, TSW3 at least. We'll see how it goes. It's always worth to have a, a little look. I'm quite happy sticking with this anyway, to be honest. There's a lot. There's a lot. But I just, I say, changeable weather might, little things like that might just sort of swing it for me. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. You never know. 
what we want to happen in previous iterations might happen in this one, I don't know. Right, so we want that one to go into there. Yeah, exactly. I don't have complete faith in everything, I just have to say, is it right? Is it going to work? Am I going the right section here? Now it's like it. Because it's like a lot of these games, some, a lot of companies, they promise things that they never ever deliver. I mean, this is not a bad game, this is a, a pretty good game. Let's just see what happens. I mean, what we're saying, the, uh, what the multiplayer, I'm not sure how multiplayer would ever work in this game. It might, it might involve awful crashing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens. I just, I just obviously know I can, I can use the older roots that I've got anyway on it. So that's a start. What is a bit nippy is like they're going on about. There was, there was folk going on about the. Southeastern one, if you've got it already, you don't have to buy it. You you still get the extended one for free. Now, there isn't an option to buy the other two routes together and get the South East, so you still have the Southeastern. So, you don't have that. So, it's like, hmm. It's almost like contradictory in terms. Because if you were to buy uh, one like US route or European route one so you get one route and you get the training bit exactly exactly it, it, everything comes down to money you know that no, everything in the world comes down to money but it's like there isn't a that, that option it's just somebody was saying this and oh if you, if you don't but it just means it's actually costing you more if you actually don't buy the standard edition of it. Let's try and hook this up. Like any game gaming franchise everything's a bit money. Right. right, we can turn her off. <laughs> we will see what happens. Yeah, we we'll, we'll, we'll haven't tested the the one the new one so. Have they fixed any bugs in in the new one at all? That's a big that's a big burning question. Another look what to, to do. We've done that one. Hmm. 
we will see. We will see, right? Let's see where the next locals are. There's one up here. There's one we meant to do that one, I don't know. <laughs> no, we'll see what happens. I mean, obviously, everybody will be back. Folk will be wanting to have a look at the new one and see what it involves. I think. Just hopefully, everything goes well eventually. Right, let's see where this trains meant to be taken. I'm definitely going to use the turntable on it. I don't know if we're joining up with the other one there. Oh. You know, let me go that way. What's wrong with it? Better run around that way. I would have ban you, <laughs> Bruce. He, everybody's entitled to their opinion about anything. There's no way you wouldn't let anybody have an opinion. That's the whole point. With anything like that, it's, it's, people have their opinion what they think. I never think this is the greatest game in the world. This locomotive and that several traction motors replaced. It's ready to be put back to work. So flip it round on the turntable and hook it up to the assigned train. Okay, so... We have to hook it up to... Well, initially it's turn, turn it on. Seems to be the next... Next concept. Try and get the hatch. Yeah. Turn. Oh, we didn't play, mate. We went the wrong direction. Now we can start, huh? Close the doors when you close the doors. That's all coming in, guys. It's Getting in the right order, there we go. Gives me a little switch on this so. one. It's up here, up here, Dave. What was that? Close the fuse box. So I was cut in, cut out, and free. It means it means this time at least the.
is going on. No quite a sign of a reverse of it. Tells the turn the turntable. That's that. That is obviously not a surprise on that one. We'll just take it forward a wee bit. You need to turn the turntable. That's very important stuff. You're facing the right way. I'm never going to be ready in game. Alright, so... Alright. How do you do this on again? Keep you flicking it to lock. It seems to lock into it. Flicks it. I flicked it on me. On left instead of right. <laughs> Time going right. Get the train on the turntable. Right, we've got that done. That's a good start. Right, where's the train? Well, I've got to double check what we might be attaching it onto. Yeah, like every, a, any company that, that is out to is out to make money, isn't it? Let's have a wee look at the map. Right, we attach it to that one, so we've got ourselves all the way out there. So which way is uh, Could quite easily just go straight forward. So we really could go in. Come out, boom, yeah. Ourselves out back out to where we were, right? So we can maybe go forward. Let's see we as I can, and I can remember. And we don't need to actually turn the table, turn the table, we'll be able to get out there without turning any more of the turntable while the train's on it. We just need to roll it across the turntable. How fast are you allowed on the turntable? Speed limit has jumped up well over 100. <laughs> I 
We're just kind of following the our way out. I mean, the quickest way would be going out this way, probably. But we're already going this way. Could have came out here. No. Mm -hmm. So, hi guys, that's all coming in by the way. And if you do like anything I do, you can hit like or subscribe. The choice is yours. There's no nobody forcing you to do anything. I just do it for a this for a wee bit of fun. Right, where's the bell button? I want to turn the bell off. My ears. I am not. Yeah. I'm, Said not the hunchback of Notre Dame, the, the, the bells, the bells. This one's just a moon change around the yard uh, routine, I think. We'll get that one out to. Um, it's taking a bit longer for us to go where we're going, actually, but. Because we're going a bit of a roundabout way, I think, to get there. I'm getting out a lot faster. So we could have turned it on the turntable to Too fast. See, we come here. We should be able to rejig it from there once we get beyond this one. Just trying to look at the lines on the tracks and how how to get get across essentially without going miles away. I'm going all the way around like that. So we could have got that top one, I, I, I can see. So next, next to the two. A bit of re, lots of rejigging is going to be going on here. I keep going too fast. As if I keep going back, I'm going to go all the way this way. Bro. Stop it beyond this junction. So sort it'll of go forward and backwards and a bit, a bit of kind of Austin Powers style. And we're there. We're obviously going to get the wee guys run out and change all the junctions for me. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll 
fast when not in a honey. To come across and beyond this junction, so I need to be about here, and then I can change the junction to go straight forward. I need to get put me on the switching point. Fucking. Switch it. That should do that. That should be my point in the right direction. Um, and that one to there. Just try and get it so we'll right, so go forward again. Change the reverse up in the right, correct dire direction. One, that's Steffi. So we want to go because we already kind of sort of set, set ourselves up after the last train anyway. So we just need to go beyond this, the, the same junction. Obviously, don't want to go up there. It's dead end. Slow down. Do it. Let's do it manually. It's got a bit of fun. Change the direction manually. This is doing it constantly. This is can be thinking to me. That's it. Let's switch the track over, right, straight up there David, up the steps, that's where you came down. It's in reverse. Right. How far up do I need to go? Um, we need to join up to there, so we're going to have to get up to here. Right, so that's fine. Change that one to there. Need to get up to that, obviously that sort of general zone, and then reverse back on the train. So it's all shunting and moving that stuff about. And my previous ones were all doing high speed stuff, so. I've not done a sand patch one for a little while, so this is, if I make mistakes, there's a, a good reason for it. Instead of going questioning, why do you drive these trains again? That sort of thing. Mm -hmm. 
Well, one well, we took, I'm guessing the other one might be moving back down towards the, their feeling bit or something like that, I don't know. We'll find out. The three trains were rejigging, basically. Three trains to rejig and move about the place. He wants to do this one, and there's only one more to do. It was an hour or so they said it before this uh, this one. So that's saying they're not pointing where you meant to be going, they're just kinda Ooh, that was weird. Just to be the frame rate sort of jumped about there. But eh, uh, aye. You just need to get up beyond. So you just have to watch the track and where, where they join up. So it's, there's a couple of points up here. And the main bit we need to. Right, so there's, there's that one joining on there. So we need to be on this track basically. Once we get on to that point, we can rejig the points to get on the other, to join up with the other train. The rest of the engines and the rest of that train. Let's say uh, the quest line. See if we can do it through, through our BD little eyes. Right, do it this way. Old school. Oh, we're moving this this track anyway. We're moving that one. Right, kind of we'll run. Basically, if we're running along it, we can tell by the way the points are getting us to go. Where do we go from there? So this one here, they're going straight on. Right, so... And that's not what we want. We just want to move this point here, so it's going the correct direction. We should be able to attach the rest of the train, now that's it. Right, back to, to my engine. Back to the engine, dun 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 Yes, no, not a bad little game This is, if you're buying any DLCs guys, really really check out for sales Then don't, don't buy them at full price, probably is the best suggestion I can come up with it does get expensive especially if you start enjoying it too much <laughs> right let's change the reverse to forward we'll release the brakes just need to go forward and hopefully join up the rest of the, the train there Should be good golden on this, I think. I like looking outside because then you can see the actual distance between you and the, the other train. Because the points can be like, it can be deceiving from where the, the measurements are. And all of a sudden, you can judge your speed quite well. This is 
I hadn't done this for a good wee while, so I just need to slowly crawl up and then because I don't want to fast anyway when I don't want to collide too quickly. Five miles an hour is the ma but maximum speed, preferably half that speed probably more ideal. A little bit too slow, Dave. A bit of throttle just to want to get me up. Just get it clicking. And we'll probably ask, been, get asked to shut her down as we join up, and quite possible. It's all about making sure you got all the the brake things and stuff like that all set up correctly on the on the, each of the it's having a, a moment to itself. Right, we will switch off any lights. Any lights off. Train to do with this sort of scenario, but that's probably done in not a bad direction because the other one obviously, let's see where this one's going. I don't think it, I think we're going to have to detach the train or something. I don't think we're just diving on. ever a break. I'm not completed everything. Right. Having just arrived in Cumberland, these need taking over to the locomotive shop for refueling. Yeah, I, I thought that. Be sure to disconnect them from the rest of the train first. Sort of more modern train than ones you see right down this way. Oh, big buggers, aren't they? Yeah, I good. I had a feeling we had something to uh, refuel, uh, do something, not just. I'm not claiming over, I want to disconnect. to get to basically where we were a few moment, moments ago. Need a reverser to forward, that's always helpful. Uh, the brakes are
and you need to cut them in. Right, so what was it? Cut in, cut out is number three. F3. Right, and I need to change from trail to lead, lead, lead or dead. That's it. F7 to save it, I think. Save changes F6. That's it. F8. And that should mean the, the brakes are all the, the correct function. We should, should then be able to move. Uh, right, where were you going? There's two trains. I know you can probably fit two there. We come out. Let's do that. Release the brakes. So we, we're missing. There we go. Get to the fuel shed. That's where, that's where we're going. There's a lot of things I was always just trying to remember what I'm meant to be doing these ones. It's helpful when you get some of the other train ones. So you can press the right buttons. on the junction again and do the same thing again so everything's kind of in reverse then we're pretty good This way. You can check. Right. 
Indian Diesel. As I say, almost as doing it as I say, opposite of what I was doing earlier on, because. go beyond and then come back almost else should be all right not too shabby considering I've not really used these trains for a while yeah that sand patch the thing I'm doing sand patch is because it's different to doing the, what I was doing the high speed train Totally different. Things. So that's point maybe. I just need to get do what done before we go forward and back in here. That's way. We should be good. I think once we fuel them, not that we end of that. Scenario. I don't know how long the next one is. Probably an epic three million hour trek through some patch itself. Interior. Mm -hmm. right. uh, this is so I can see roughly where I am. I need to get beyond this junction anyway. So pretty much there. because we're just beyond it change the points yeah I'll double check if it's point in the right direction yeah, we'll see let's go that way and then zigzagly we would Game four.
just get beyond the, the points otherwise we'll change it that should be good yeah we can just do it no more change the reverse on it That's because of the throttles on it. And that's it, that's it. And now we'll change it. Throttles active. Yeah. Hi, Drifter from the Hours. Welcome. As I say, I've not done a sand patch grade for absolute ages. So I'm kind of. These are pointing the right, right things to press. It's helpful. I thought I'd, this is a different piece here. Should be enough. Change that one to there. Let's check all the, the points are going where I want to go. Perfect. And move that to zero. So we can change the reverser. Fuel up. I haven't tried it. It should be able to have both long and short who's on all the trains. But this is the first one you really had to get used to with things like that. You know which one's which one's your lead local. This is. I think it's because we've got a few of the other ones. I'll let more uh, again on uh, using the this con control screen here. How to do the the brakes? It was very confusing to me at first. Trust me. I mean, the amount of times of going trying to get up sand patch grade and, and just going backwards. Oh, I'm going to start rolling back down the hill. So I'm trying to make sure I've got the train set up properly and stuff before I leave. Doesn't mean I will. Fuel shed and we'll fill her up. Yeah. It's, a, it's the same game, it's just, there's no, 
all all the add-ons are just a matter of our co console or PC or PlayStation. They're all all exactly the same. Uh, this is for this Sam patch was when I first done it. Is um, I was confused, still confused to be honest. This is why I'm glad it's given me all the wee instructions. I even actually remembered to how how to set up the bra the brakes on this this train. I was like, oh, I remembered. Wow, didn't forget. And I don't. don't just, forward so that we can get the hose reach or the hose may not reach uh -oh. apparently not far enough forward yet Just gently Dave Connect the hose. Come out. I deal with these a, a lot these days. Smelly, stinky stuff. Wait till you have to add the add blue. Guess the concept you get even better still. We'll take the let's take the fuel cap off. That's always a good idea. Um, it does does have a horn. Um, I don't know about bell though. It certainly has a horn. I'll quickly show you. So it lets me get up. It doesn't want me to get up the the ladders on this one. Maybe it's waiting for me to. Hey, well, it was waiting for me to do that. Place it back anyway. Close the cap. Right, yeah, it's a good idea. Just be a shutting the engine down. Yeah, there is a horn on on this train as well. It's exactly the same, the same as the other ones. It just says horn and bell. Right there. Horn and bell. It must be individual with the bell. Go like that with the bell. I see we pit track. Now we're going back to where we just came from. They all have the bells and horns on them still. They're just at different locations because they depend how modern the train is. I don't know if this is finishing up or, or what would they want to plunk the train? Horned it twice. What more does it want? And slow it down. Yeah. 
right so far I think we're just calling it quits now Reversing neutral. Break out the full service. And off to the office building. We will complete today's uh, task. Shift three trains about. That was not too shabby actually. I thought it done reasonably well. Need too much of a mess of it because it didn't have a like a nice wee blue line. As you follow this blue line to get to to get to here and get to the next section, it's kind of having to do it all by yourself. Just figuring out what is the best routes which to take. Bit of a trek, isn't it? If only you ran like Linford Christie, as you say in the UK. If you're Jamaican, you're Usain Bolt. More up to date. And the little rest. Oh, I'm knackered. <laughs> right. Any collectibles in the hat? Nothing for you? Collectibles everywhere. Right, we've got to be office. We've got to the office. Cool. Happy days. You got a gold for that. Can't complain. Right. Coal loading. Loading some coal. It was only, I think there was only one place to load the coal. You just have to coal go really loading is a common occurrence on Sandpatch Grade, so we better yeah. take a look at how to do it. Go really slowly. To engage the loading process, the train must be moving at a constant rate and not exceeding the speed limit. In order to move the train very slowly, this locomotive is fitted with speed control. This is located on the integrated function display. That's it. We're now ready to move under the coal loader ahead, so get the train moving. Right, so As we're we have set the slow speed control, it does not matter what throttle position is used, the locomotive will only travel at the indicated speed. And it should do anyway. I mean, there's only, a, uh, only five coal trucks, so we don't have to do too many. Where you going once the, the brakes are released? And did we do the our brakes and stuff? Didn't we? Go in. Then we did that. Let's double check. It's all right, it's done for us, cool. Mm. I'll get up to two mile an hour, I don't have, I don't have to floor it too much. No, we'll give it a two. Its current speed is 1.9.
So it doesn't matter. Do that just to stop the wee icon coming up. Right. <laughs> yeah. Give it a cold loading. You see where it is on the sand patch. It's up here. When the train is within range, the loader will activate and a notification will appear. Something I've, I've played plenty of other ones on it. The northeast one as well. Some of the loader loading the coal and other stuff. You can't make it go faster. It has to be this speed. Well, it's decent the animation for it. The cars is completely automated. As each car passes under the chute, the loader will dispense coal until it is full. This will continue until all the cars are loaded. With the train under semi-automatic control, you can watch the loading process from an external camera. You know. You just watch it and it does its thing and then it fills up. As I say, there's a decent enough animation on it. And then the next car. Right, that one's only got 97%, I must have been going too fast. Oh, it's missed. Missed the, the truck. They'll go on 97%. You're going too fast. Do you not know they meant be 100, not 97. I'm going to have to reverse part the way to get the extra 3% in the, the trucks. 2 mile an hour is too fast. I don't fill them all up. Let's see what happens. Shocking. To bring the train to a halt, return the throttle handle to idle, and on the integrated function display, press slow speed control off. Now bring the train to a stop. Yeah, we've already done that one. <laughs> Let's see, independent break. You're now trained on loading coal. There are two facilities for coal loading on the sand patch grade Rockwood Mine and Shaw Mine. That was an easy, nice, easy intro for us there. This part one of Powering America is I think coal loading but on a grander scale. As in there's a lot more. Let's 
so we need to get the speed control sorted out. Let's just try to see if we can get all the to 1.8 so it's slightly slow I hope and that means all the coal goes in the, the trucks it's quite a few of them I'm guessing we're reversing the patch to the rest of the train down there. And you just have to wait and see. Wait for it load. I'm not sure how long the is gonna I knew, I thought there was two parts to this one. This is a short, well, shorter distance anyway. The other bit is actually once you've actually got it loaded up. And the two trains set up. And then you head down to Cumberland. We've got the other half of the train up ahead there. What do we go in the mean? No, what we can go in the glass, we can go in the glass. Oh. <laughs> we left the glass. I wasn't. I wasn't sure which way, which way you did it. No, one glass first, and there's more in the glass than going in the back. Okay. Make it go any faster, unfortunately. Won't fill it up. So, we have a wee bit of a warning. I'm coming through.
and then the re redo will be on. For the, your bank, banking comms is very much required. We want more than one train. You just have to know which one's your lead train and which one your slave train. Very important. Then we're going to get night more than ninety five percent, ninety seven percent. So if we can select the slow. Is it just a thing on the game and you glitch? And ninety nine percent this time. Two mile an hour is apparently too fast. In, in, Point seven is too fast for it. It's not getting a hundred percent now. I've dropped to one point six, so we'll get a hundred percent this time. Ninety-nine. <laughs> There's quite a few coal trucks, as you can see, to top up. As the weight increases, we can increase the the power required. We'll do this one. We'll fill this one, attach it to the rest of the train, and then we'll call it quits. I think. Because my dinners will be soon. Then the person attached to the rest of it here. Should be good. Trying to see if there's any collectible. There's a hat. Filling up nicely. Is there any other collectibles on them? On the
We're getting there. As I say, it is a bit time consuming this one, but. If I do the next one, it'll take me about two hours. I've not got the really time for that one. We'll do this. Let's go full trucks. Well, some of them must start to fill up today. There's one that's got 100% in it. Another one. I'm obviously going slow enough to get the 100%. Say they're 99. Seems like about one and a half uh, mile an hour is the requirement for 100%. Slow down enough, and then it's got half of them will be 99%, and the other half will be 100. Not many left. Then just way around the corner. How many trunks? Six. Six to fill. And right, the trains around there. Do this this we scenario this scenario and I'm gonna call it quits. Because basically going will be on and reverse attach the rest of the train. So basically we're ready to rock and roll for the next scenario because Next scenario is leaving here and going down to Cumberland. And we spot a fishing or something down there, it's a, a canoeing. Yeah, old ca kayak out. Oh yeah. Oh, this this one's sand patch grade and it's the powering America uh, scenario. So it's this first part one. You got part two where you take the, the train down to Cum Cumberland. We're nearly there. Yeah. Once the other one's filled, it'll probably tell me to stop the train and do a reverse. one yeah I'm played this one for a wee while just figuring out how to run the trains again myself there we go the one very heavy train so uh, Turn that off. Yeah. 
let's do the the long way and then we can get the hat at the same time I don't think there's anything else up there you never know bit of a trek so we've got about a quarter mile length of train here and the other, other quarter mile is what I'm going to attach to the ground, I'm sorry. Great scenery. Stone. A bit of grass. See if she get the hat. There you go, the hard hat. to the rest of the train and open the shop So I'm chilling, we relax. For my dinner. Change it there, sir. Too fast anyway because this is the last thing you want to go too fast and then bugger up the entire scenario by going too fast and you derail it or something daft like that. Just need to attach to the rest of the train. So it's about, we only got about a couple hundred yards or so we need to go. And then we only need to go about a couple hundred yards. Anyway. There's the measurements of this from the, sort of like the cab. The cab's miles will be back there. I think once we've done that, we can kind of shut her down and see what happens. Yeah, not a bad little stream. Got a few folks seem to have popped in to say hello. And they get the odd delight. Just 
reduce it the like cost. The sheer weight of it will, will take ages to slow down. Because I don't, don't want to go too zay. Now we are attaching the rear end, something to something, linking it up. I don't want to go much faster than 5 mile an hour. Now I'm only really about 100 yards away from Better speed for, for attaching. It's under three mile an hour. So quick, isn't it? But yeah, you don't want to be going fast. Now this one doesn't seem to have any coal in it. Power much much of a man I don't know coal in that bit. There we go. Here they are. Oh, it puts coal in it by me thump hard enough. Put school and all the other ones. Right. It's the first I ever knew about that. Get up and probably easier to see the buttons I'm trying to press. this happy days fill the coal up go to pick up truck and it's quits quitting time for that because the second one is going down to Cumberland gold medal happy days I'm just show you what I mean because I've not got the time, I've not really got the time for it. Sure, it involves. Full, full length of it is I'm sure it's going to uh, stop at Emmett's Creek well, where's the Emmett's Creek how far away is that uh, it doesn't seem too long and, oh yeah definitely don't want to I need to set it up anyway. 
so MS Creek's obviously down here, so I'm, I'm following the blue line. So I need to stop there. I need to definitely need a reverse of forward, that's for sure. That's always a good start. And get the brakes. And then a pig. Over here, now. Right. It's telling me to release, but let's check the brakes so you can see it in, in the lead position. Otherwise, is it cut in lead? Cool. That's, that's what I wanted to make sure. Cool. Right, so we've got a green light. Weather forecast doesn't look good. Well, you got enough experience to handle the situation. Have a good trip. Right, so independent make off. Right, there's a horn. Big. I just hope the other one's actually powered up properly as well. The other engine. Can you sit? Will, will be if I go to ass. Dave, I can calm down, Dave. Come on, I will help you. The bank can come on for This set to lead. Well, it depends on what the other train set to. That's a, a big burning question. Not that one, the one at the back. The one that we were doing in the last one. So it's not too far actually. It's just... I do need a lot of power because. I don't want to be going too fast at the moment. Is this is not about speed this day. This one's all about going at a steady pace and getting up the hills and getting down the hill without speeding. Yeah, I thought this was uh, further along, but it's not. I wasn't sure if it was automatically selected for a lead, but it is cool. It definitely helps. It was good about the weather, doesn't it? Too shabby. Go via Yoda. Hi, old man. Schmolman. It's a good, it's a good game for me if you just want to just chill out and relax. It's hard to chill out and relax on the uh, Grand Turismo unless you're very, very good at it.
Not Gran Turismo, no. Shoot, dude, you try to come in. Eh, it's relaxing if you're doing well. Uh, but my ability, yeah, I don't do quite so well. I just need to get along. I don't know about power here, we need, need it. Going uphill. Just taking a wee second for it to kick in there. There's another one. Currently, can't go it much quicker because the length of the train. But I was having to take it all the way to Cumberland, that's why I was expecting it to be like two hours long or something. But it's not. I think. I think the concept of multiplayer is handy, but it's how would it work? Well, that's the question. It's getting it to work. What if everyone. It's the same I mean, if you do multiplayer on this, how do you make it work without people crashing into each other? Now we can hoof it out. <laughs> Snowman. Yes, I did. Um, it comes out the set of September, but if you pre-order it, it comes out the second. Slightly frustrating. You've got all the various ones, and if you've got the southeastern one, it comes out as free allegedly, but. The problem is, there isn't one where you get the other two routes together. So, it doesn't quite make it free. Especially on the before PS4, this one actually, frame rate would. Hello, Mantic Boy! We've got some movement going, we don't need to throttle it too hard, especially when you know speed limits do come down to 25 mile an hour eventually. Oh, that's a hard one, that. That's my favourite game. Depends, 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 isn't it? People's favourite games always change depending on what's out, what's out there at the time. It's 
suppose, the end of the year. Most people's favourite games are usually what they're good at. I'm not saying I'm good at this game because I don't really have the safety systems and stuff on on the road on the go. But uh, it's good for chilling out, like snow runner, like that. It's, again, a more chilled out game until you keep toppling over every five seconds. I enjoy playing Gran Turismo. Just play what I'm in the mood for at the end of the day. I haven't played it for a while, but it's just I like playing things like uh, Division and stuff like that. Sort of the squad based uh, shooters and cover shooters. And we've got Wildlands as well, which is good fun. And get a sales break, it'll probably take us what, 8 minutes or so? It is sort of speedy anyway. A trophy. Now, moment, thank you very much. Thank you very much. As I say, I played TSW2 recently a lot because I was deliberately saying, How many miles can I get? Can we get 10,000 miles just to get the platinum? I don't think we'll get it before the TSW3 comes out. I'm either working or on holiday. There's quite a lot of different ones out. And I'm just keeping a BDI out of things. I mean, this is not something I, I play a lot, or I play a lot of it. It's just not like I'm big in can sim train sim games all the time. It's just a, I say for me, this is enjoyable because you can just relax and chill out. So go. Oh. Via Yodor Sand Patch. And stop at Viaduct Junction. M is quick. And turn the lights off apparently. I was playing some of the other um, American. What was the one that came out recently? Oh, not recently, but I mean, my wee brain's gone there. It's got the same train on it, and that's kind of how it made me go, that's how you use this train. <laughs> I was using the display on the screen and have more buttons to click. I get the, the brake system set up correctly and stuff. Me honk.
Because at the moment we're going uphill, we're slightly downhill. We've got to go downhill completely yet. The curious of working that is. As I say, we've got our yellow light, so I, I definitely don't want to go going too fast. Is that still red? It's still red there. It's yellow just before it. Give me a BDI on that. The problem is, it's like so that's the only yellow light. And then it goes red. Will it change to yellow or green when you get there? If not, that's a really bit of a bummer. Get it to go slow, go slow, go slow. It is going via locations. It shows you how taxing the dream rate in, in this game, isn't it? Those ones are better when you're inside, but so when you go outside, you know, it's doing it can take a hit. So all, all the other trains are set up correctly before me. So I do anything. Not so bad. You say you come down the hill here is the fun bit is the fact oh I you just keep going faster and faster if you go and it's set up correctly. Again, close to the Yoda. This is go via location. This is it. Hopefully that one. And uh, red light will go green to green or yellow. You chill out, you relax. I didn't worry too much about the safety system on the game. But I think having to keep pressing certain buttons is like being the bum on console. Easy along the stairs. Try and watch my speed.
trying to see if I can see the rear, the rear end of the train. Yeah, I just hope the red light goes yellow or green. Being the button if it doesn't. One point three miles away at least. Watch the fact we've got a red light, that's important. But you never want to. Basically, be careful. So we might have some red lights and stuff to deal with. We will be because there's a train coming the other way. issue we need to wait for that to, to pass anyway so <coughs> excuse me Don't go through the, through the red light. You can coach it, just don't go through it. This one and go past. You see another cold thing going the opposite direction. for this one. If 
before we can proceed to sand patch. Quite a good bit short of it at least. position thinking about it. Just can't overpower it on the lines at all. We'll get slippage. The blue part within the Zona, I'm guessing. <clears throat> Into sun patch. which is probably the more tells me very wiggly should really keep going People have come in today quite quite pleased with that. Pretty surprised how many. But there you go. Eastern side of America. You know that, yeah. Don't. 
with two parts because it won't get to a point it's not Five is going to be the speed limit. Many bends and curves. There's a speed limit along of this one. Section one hour. Yeah, we'll do this in no definitely definitely for a night. Let's chill the evening. It's good because it's been different, different to what I was doing earlier on with the freight, with the high speed passenger ones I was doing earlier. It was sort of pace. And I was doing high speed ones to try and basically do as many miles as possible. In a short piece, space of time. far away the next bit is the weird location different locations I find the junction and it's creek somewhere down here and it's quite a bit quite a bit over here to be the views obviously because the whole point of the game put me I think it done quite well in this one with the scenery and stuff. Sand pipes are too what ten minutes. This is a bit wiggly. Do. 
Good thing there's a crossing or anything close to that. Honk the horn. See if it works. Crossings are plenty. You get the mini towns and that, they seem to all go through. So I know got it quick so it is the new scene in the video. get to one, a certain point and then just also it goes flying down the hill but it's really steep there if you're not careful and I'm to stop and call it quits. There's a sheer amount of trees they put in this one. That's why the performance at times drops. There. Oh, a steep bit, a bit of nice some power. And 
get into a 20 mile an hour zone. Must be approaching the tops. Very soon, not. the sand patch. It was pretty much a sort of light top. Reducing that a wee bit. It's basically we got a 20 mile an hour speed limit coming up. Slip or something there? Can't remember that being there. I did, I did, I did things in for the PS5, I don't know. The next generation. Trust me, it's a lot more than 15 miles to get there. You have to watch. The signals are yellow at the moment as well. I don't know, go too, too quick, quick. Oh, Cover it up as quick as much as we can. Tells me it's 15 miles to my destination. No, it's not. Nearly double it. Mm -hmm. Bit is when you get over the sort of top, top here and then you sort of go it's quite quick going downhill isn't it? <laughs> Just have to watch the indicators of the lights A red one pops up.
Come on, please stop. Come on. Come on. That was really quick. Really, really go, oh, we're going to give you a red light. Swines. Call it quits on that one today, I think. Thanks for watching, guys.